What's happening everyone? This is Kate here. I'm back at Portal. This is the first game I am playing, I guess. It's like one of my old school favorites. Um, I never did a walkthrough before until now, so hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm gonna start from the top. I'm gonna break these down into different categories. Not categories, I mean like parts. So I'll make it to the third level and then I'll cut it there so the time doesn't run so far. And then after that, I'm going to start another part and then just keep breaking them down into different levels and segments of the game. This is a really fun game, by the way. I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know how much it is. I think it's a dollar or something like that on Steam. The first game is. I don't know about the second game, but I got this for free, actually. Someone pretty much made a recording for me on a flash drive, so I got lucky. Oh boy, uh, it's a great way to start off the day. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> but yeah, I do stupid shit like Hello, this. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun, and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center <laughs> activities. Serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Oh yeah, you probably noticed that I was quiet during Gladys talking. I don't like to interrupt the main storyline. I mean, I'm pretty much here to show you a walkthrough. I mean, I'm not... Please, by any means, don't base judgment on this game by how badly or how okay-ish I could probably do. Okay-ish isn't even a word. See, I'm stupid as it is. I can't even speak English. But yeah, anyway, so... That's the beginning. I love how it's just... You can get a block on your head, you can get shot by something, vaporized, fall into a pit, fly, get shot again, and then I don't know what the second to last one is, and then cake. But as you know about the cake is a lie, oh well I missed the toilet. The quote, the cake is a lie, I'm gonna put that in the toilet and I'm gonna flush that bitch. Prevent lies from continuing in this world. But I love how in this game you can just see yourself in various portals, like you see the radio floating. But anyways, enough jibber jabber, let me just continue the game, show you guys what this game's all about, and go from there. I really do enjoy the cube. Not this cube, you'll see later, but I also enjoy the radio. Excellent. <laughs> Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weight and storage cube. Alright. There's gonna be a lot of talking in the beginning of the game, I mean... You'll get used to it with time, but the thing I love about Gladys is that she is so cynical. She's, like, entertaining. You have to understand her personality throughout the game, but she is such a bitch, but you love her. Like, she's so cynical and sinister with everything she says, and she's so insulting, but you just learn to love the lady. She's pretty much like a mother figure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not a mother figure, but you really do look at her as a prime... I guess protagonist, even though she is not the protagonist, you are. But it, I guess that makes sense anyway. I don't know what to describe it as. But anyway, enough jibber jabber again, and there's the cube you put on that block. The most depressing part about this game, other than what's gonna happen in the future level, is this. See, the music was so entertaining, and then you put it through that field. Like, she just, she's not bullshitting when she says that she will vaporize anything that goes through that force field. Cause my music's going. That was a catchy tune, by the way. It's like you don't do space and time. Alright, level one, here we go. Yep, accurate. 
but yeah, there'll be more talking, so be prepared. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. But yeah, everything she says just is hilarious. You'll really grow to love her or hate her. I've noticed with people who play this game and enjoy it as much as I do, you either love Gladys or you hate Gladys. I honestly love her. She's so bitchy, so cynical, and just so cold that I love her. It's like an op it's like a negative effect. You're supposed to hate the lady, but really you start to love her. I don't know why I keep that's like the most annoying part, is like I keep going through the same portal. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Perfect. Oh, Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You'll go to love certain things that she says, like stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it's hilarious to me. And I guess I find entertainment in stupid shit, but <laughs> Gladys is just an entertaining person. I love her. I really do. Aperture Laboratory is an awful go. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna cut it short on level 3 and just keep breaking the gameplay or walkthrough, I guess you can call it, in the different parts. Because I don't want to break the YouTube standard. Like You're doing way. very well. <laughs> Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Alright, you heard the lady. Let's go. I just love how the poster signifies what you're going to be exposed to. Like, the key, pretty much like with Very that good. one. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. Another form of entertainment. Look straight ahead, you'll be able to see yourself. It's like kind of those optical illusions where you make a portal in which you exit the portal just to see yourself walk into the same portal that you just exited. If that makes any sense. But later on in the game, you get a orange part of the gun, and what's really entertaining, I'll show you guys whenever I get the orange part, is you'll put a portal on either side of a corner, and you'll chase yourself. I mean, it's just a stupid entertainment in which us portal people... I'm stupid. Us, uh... veterans of this game, you can say, like to do, and then you can also see yourself up. You can see part of the gun. Just stupid forms of entertainment. Kind of looks like a zipper, which is weird, but... Oh, that's the light. <laughs> I really am dumb. But, yeah, there's just different things to find entertaining in this game. Especially breaking the camera. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I'm sorry, Mother. I didn't mean to. But I am reaching level 3, which means I am going to cut the video so I don't break YouTube as I have been breaking YouTube. <laughs> breaking YouTube is going over 15 minutes, which I guess they don't like that because they set my video as private. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. I will not mind the gap. I will mind the gap. For so. your own safety, <laughs> do not destroy vital testing apparatus. <laughs> there he goes. Ah, you can probably see it floating. Alright. Well, anyways, I'm at level 3, so I'm gonna cut it short so I don't piss off YouTube by reaching 15 minutes or whatever, the lovely mark of the century. I guess if you go over 15 minutes, they, I guess, make you verify your account or do something, and then they make you, they automatically set your video to private, so I'm trying to avoid 
pissing off YouTube at all costs. So that's level three. I'm gonna cut this part and as a first walkthrough video I've ever made. I really hope you guys enjoyed and stick around. I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you so much. Peace.